So this is our pantry. Uh, we have our second fridge here, which we got because the regular fridge in our kitchen is not very big. Um, so yeah, it's, it's over there, it's really small. Um, yeah, so this is pretty much gonna stay here, um, but well, we're gonna take it out for now. We're gonna paint the walls. And then here we have some shelves uh, for all of the food that doesn't fit into the kitchen and well some appliances and some other stuff and this is kind of not well what ikea told us is that we are not really utilizing the space very well i mean here it's only up until here so we have all of this did we need and ikea to tell us that i thought we knew no, it already no we knew already but we didn't know what to do about it really um and here i mean we just have this thing which came with our apartment which used to be in the bathroom but now it's here and it's pretty much just a candle stand so we're gonna get all of this out we're gonna paint the walls and then we're gonna install some shelves mm -hmm. when they do arrive next week so that's the plan and then also all these i don't know what the previous owner did here but there's like a lot of scratches everywhere i have no idea what they're from um but yeah they're gonna be gone in a um, couple of minutes so yeah, just in random places yeah also this one here i mean this is like what the fuck is this like i don't know but it's gonna be gone so let's get all of this stuff out and then start painting so we're finally ready to install the voxel system and we're gonna do it in kind of around the corner here um which is a bit weird to plan on the website because there's you know like the box or planner but it only supports like one straight wall so basically what we came up with is we're going to have the 80 centimeter wide system on this wall and then this uh like including the shelves that should this should come out to like about here and then we're gonna have the 40 centimeter system on this wall here so we want to start with the 80 centimeter system and there's uh like some handy videos online um, about how to install this, but the IKEA IKEA's own one, like I don't know, there's I feel like there's kind of some unnecessary steps in there. So we're gonna try to streamline this process. And um, I mean, the first thing is you need to screw this thing onto the wall. And uh, for this, we need to measure out the height. Um, IKEA recommends uh, this rail that will support the shelves on the left and on the right to like hover at least like 15 centimeters or so um, above the ground. So what we're gonna do is we're just going to put this like against the wall so that it sits at about a 90 degree angle and then we're gonna measure 15 centimeters on top and then we can mark the place where this is gonna go. You just take this thing, I'm just going to leave like a couple of uh, millimeters on this side because otherwise we need to like drill really close to the corner and I don't know, I don't like that and like we have to go in a weird angle and stuff mm -hmm. with our uh, drill so yeah we basically just need to kind of mark the kind of mark the middle point and this needs like so many screws like this will be probably like 30 minutes of drilling uh, because this needs five and then the rails need like eight each it's gonna take forever um, so yeah, I marked the position of the first hole that we need to drill. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to drill it. Yay. A word on these screws. So it took us so long yesterday to figure out which screws we need um, because the manual doesn't really make that clear at all. They just say that uh, for the top bar, you need screws that have a, like it seems like a diameter of less than seven millimeters. And then for the thing, things on the side, you need to have screws with a diameter less of eight millimeters. But equal to actually, I mean, yeah, you're right. Manual, equal, yeah. yeah, equal to seven or equal to eight millimeters. But what they actually refer to is the, uh, the head, not the shaft of the screw, which is apparently how you, how you usually measure screws. So we spent like two hours or so trying to figure out where to get these screws. And then we, uh, we called Ikea and they just told us pretty much to use their own uh, fixer system. Uh, which we have, but um, so you need 32 screws for one and the fixer system only has like 20 screws uh, of the ones you actually need. So we needed to buy an, another one. Uh, it took us a long time, but uh, basically like they want you to use these screws for the top, which have like this triangular shape. 
And then of course, if you have a concrete wall like we do, you need the appropriate plugs, which are also in the fixer system. And then the, the hole that you need to drill is a bit longer than this plug. So according to the fixer manual, um, this screw needs this six millimeter plug, uh, which requires a six millimeter drill bit, which is not included with the IKEA drill, by the way. So we had to go out and buy these. Um, and then the hole that you make with the drill needs to be a bit longer than, uh, than the one of the plug. So actually you can maybe like tape that out on the drill bit or like, I don't know, use some paint or something to like indicate how deep you have to go because it's always difficult to tell while you're drilling. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to uh, just indicate how much we have to drill and then get drilling. Now what we have to do is to level this out and uh, just indicate where we have to drill the other like four holes on this one. And if you're like us and you don't have a spirit level, but you do have an iPhone, you can use the measure app that comes pre-installed because that actually makes for a, for a pretty good spirit level. Let's try and get this like really, really aligned. I'm actually not sure if we need to use, ah, if we need to use these holes. Okay. This is really confusing because it has like more holes yeah. than you need. Sometimes I'm just like, why Ikea? And now according to the Ikea like video, you're just supposed to take this down again, but you can also just like rotate it away a bit to drill the other like holes. I think that's way more convenient. Mm. So we're gonna do that. So drill again. So now that we're done, we can just, um, I'm just gonna vacuum out all the stuff. Um, and then we're ready to go. Like, well, ready to hammer in the plugs and get this level again. Yeah. And proceed to the next step. Yeah. These IKEA plugs are, by the way, also not the greatest. I have the feeling that um, they're very brittle at the top um, because the top ring is only held in place in like one, two, three, four positions or so. So I have the feeling that they that the tip like deforms and breaks off quite easily. But uh, well, again, we couldn't really figure out what other screws to use um, thanks to IKEA. So we'll just have to make do. Okay, so I'm using the measure up again to make sure that this is level. And now I'm gonna insert the first screw. Okay, next screw. Okay, I only loosely fixed them and now I'll just fix them all the way. So we're now ready to hang these two meter long rails on the very left and the very right. So let's do that. And now we have to hook these triangular shelf holders in to the rails, so at the very top and at the very bottom. So now we install two shelves uh, mm -hmm. where we just put the shelf holders. Um, it's a bit confusing because if it's, it's of course just a white rectangle, but basically this hook, um, that one goes like towards the wall and this one is at the front. So let's do the top one first. And now we need to make sure that these are level again before we can mark the eight holes on mm. each rail that we have to drill, which is probably going to take like an hour. Um, yeah, so let's get the measure app ready again. This looks good. Yeah, nice. And here at the bottom. Oh, great. Looks, looks good as well. So you already see kind of where um, we have to drill, but now uh, it's actually more difficult to make a mark here. So maybe we can just get a marker with a felt tip. I think that will be easier to read then. Uh, let's just get that one. Wait, now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, that's all. Yeah. Great, so we marked all the holes and now we have to undo this, just yeah. get the shelves off again, get the rails off again, do all the drilling, and then we can put it all back in. That's basically how this works. So yeah. yay. Action. And what's uh, really confusing about this is that according to the manual, you are now just supposed to screw all of this in with the shelf in place, which I guess works if you have a wood wall and you do not need to use a plug uh, for which you have to drill a hole first. So. Yeah, great job, Ikea, on not explaining this, you know, properly, how it works on concrete walls, which I guess is where many people will fix this. 
or drywall for that matter. Um, and also this is where you need for some reason a different screw than for the top. Here you need the eight millimeter one that has like a flat bottom here which is also contained in the fixer set, but uh, yeah, still not very clear. So I fixed the top one and the bottom one, so now we can screw it in. Yeah. So we picked up our new fixer set from Ikea, so now we can continue with this shelf on this wall. And the difficult thing is that, well, we're doing it around the corner, we have this system already in place, and now we need to make sure that this one is exactly at the same height as this one and at kind of the proper distance um, so that, you know, there's no gaps in between the shelves or very tiny gaps in between the shelves and that they are at exactly the same height. So we first try to figure out um, what the distance needs to be between this system and this system. And we basically decided that uh, this system will kind of end where the shelf from this one begins. Uh, so this is exactly, you know, where the top bar needs to end. And then figuring out the height was a bit difficult because we're now not so sure if our ceiling and our floor are even. Um, because we, we measured the distance, you know, from the ceiling to, well, from the ceiling to this and try to match it here and then from the floor, from the floor to this and try to match it here and we arrived at kind of a, you know, couple of differences like it's just a couple of millimeters but it's a bit weird and then we used a like just a tape um, along the wall along the upper part of this rail around the corner to kind of guide us to the um, to where it needs to be and we think we have figured it out where it kind of needs to be but uh, we'll see if it's gonna be at exactly the same height but I think this is like with all these different ways of measuring it, I think we arrived at what is probably the best overall solution. So now we need to drill again um, and then fix this top bar. So now that this is hanging, we're gonna do the same thing again. So hang the rails on the left and on the right, hang a shelf at the very top and the very bottom, see if everything aligns and then mark all the holes that we need to drill. So we marked all the holes, now again we need to remove everything to drill. So we drilled all the holes and put all the plugs in, so now we hang back those rails, reinstall the top and the bottom shelf and then we can drill it, well screw it to the wall. This is all installed now and we have seven, eight, this is 80 centimeters, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, seven 80 centimeter ones and uh, five of the smaller ones and two smaller baskets. And per our design, we basically need to click in one shelf uh, every third position. So we're gonna do that, like add the triangles first and then add all the shelves. So like we are a bit conf we were a bit confused about um, how these slots match up with the drawing on the IKEA website and the Boxel planner um, because according to the website there's there should be twenty slots but then we counted these and it ended up being forty yeah. so yeah yeah that just means uh, one slot is uh, two uh, well one slot according to IKEA is two slots on the system here that you can see every two because uh, every one of these takes up two slots so in total yeah there are 20 or in total you can fit 20 of these yeah thanks ikea for making that so clear uh, i mean it's okay so one two three so okay this is the next one that we need to nice oh and uh they are really difficult to get in so we started hammering them but if you hammer on these things like the coating comes off really easily i'm gonna show you the picture like just show it like it's yeah. crazy we weren't even hammering really forcefully yeah see i got it great so uh yeah we ended up just putting the boxel manual on top of the slots to protect them while hammering them into place some are easy and some are quite difficult it's quite random so some production randomness, I guess. See the this support. 
ah. beam. I don't know how to call it. Yeah, it's it's it, it, it shakes. So uh, this is also what people say online. So we now hammered in all the triangles on this side and now we can use this side as a template for that side. So we now placed all the triangles and we're now just going to insert all the shelves. Um, so I think it's easier to probably do like what, like left, left, like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Mm -hmm. um, just be careful because now there's just like a thousand triangles which could stab you in the eye. Um, so yeah, be careful. Okay, then I revise what I said earlier. We're gonna do right, left. Ah, oh, the, the, the pin is bent a bit here. Hmm. Oh, now this side is out again. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Oh. this got in the way, yeah. Okay. But I don't think I should be filming. I, I should okay, be this. turns out this is a two person job again, so. <laughs> So it ended up being easier to do the right side first, um, but it's by no means easy though. Um, it's really more difficult than it looks. I'm actually thinking we sh might, we should have done it like the complete one first before we uh, yeah. put the rest of this, uh, put the second, the, the left shelf. Um, oh well. So uh, let's now click in the shelves on the left and then we're done. Yeah. Oh my God, we did it. This was surprisingly difficult, like such a pain in the ass. And you can also see that we didn't manage to get this level out completely because the weird thing is also that it, it is completely at the same height at the back, but then not at the front. Yeah, I think that has to do with um, the shelf. I think it leans a bit forward um, because um, so with this uh, bar, this uh, vertical support bar, on the top it's placed on top of the horizontal yeah. bar, so that makes it a bit um, forward than the well the bottom, which is just screwed the to the wall. Bar. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. So that's something to keep in mind. And we could have, in hindsight, placed this a bit, like placed this uh, bar a bit more to the right, then this would be actually flush, but this is good enough. Yeah, It's good enough. I also don't feel like fixing anything about this anymore. So now we can just transfer all of our stuff into our new redesigned pantry. So this was our pantry renovation using the IKEA Boxel system. Uh, I think it went pretty well overall. Um, just, yeah, it's definitely a two person job. I think doing it, you know, just with one person is kind of dangerous. Um, so if you want to do it, then uh, make sure to have a friend there with you doing it together with you. And if you want to see more renovation videos, there will definitely be a lot more renovation videos because we're renovating pretty much our entire apartment um, throughout this year. Mostly using IKEA stuff, even though a lot of it is not available at the moment, but it's still the only thing we can afford. Um, so yeah, be sure to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of us and more renovations videos. And we'll see you in a new video very soon.